Let's see if we can get there in time. Maybe we can get there in time. Hey guys, Doge here with part two of the Mini Metro Let's Play. So I'm actually recording this on a different day than the first part. Um, so that does mean that whatever score I end up with won't be eligible to go up on the leaderboard. Um, but that's okay. Uh, I don't. I don't really expect to end up in the top ten anyway. So, and I really only wanted to compare against the highest score just sort of to give you give you guys an idea of how well we were doing. So let's go ahead and resume the game from the first part. So let me just pause for a second here and take a look at what we had. Um, so I do remember we had these three sort of general loops um, with with the teal line, the orange line, and the pink line down here to sort of carry most of the passengers, and then we had this purple specialty line to sort of service these other um, specialty stops. Now, as I mentioned that, it does sort of occur to me that we could extend this line sort of down like that and like this and actually get all of the specialty shapes on the same line. Um, and, and that does use up our last bridge, so might not be a good idea but it might serve as well. So I guess let's try that out and see how it goes. We do also have three locomotives and one carriage as well as one extra line. Um, so it looks like we're in a pretty good spot and we're at just over a thousand, almost 1,100 passengers transported. So let's continue here and we'll see how it goes. A couple stars and squares here. Um, let's maybe just route them through like this. Oh, I should have, uh, I guess I should have come down to the star, not two squares in a row, don't know what I was thinking there. Circle up here, that does give us three circles in a row, but I guess there's not a whole lot we can do about that right now. Let's try and uh, maybe rearrange these lines a little bit. There we go, that looks a little nicer. This station's becoming quite busy. Now I probably should just put a carriage on this purple line. Um, would be good to have a second train on there as well. Maybe let's do that actually. Now this station is quite busy. Let's, let's, let's do that. How about that? And put the second locomotive on here as well. This one is also getting a little busy, but this orange train is just about reaching there, so that should be okay. Although that being said, maybe this train is going to be too full to do a whole lot. And this station is still busy. This is just a super busy station over here. Yeah, this train didn't really have space to accommodate those passengers, and this is really, really a bit of everything. There is. There are two triangles in there, so maybe we can get these triangles moved over here. And then this one as well has some a bunch of squares. I guess this one's going to pick up those. Um, and now we do have two more triangles out here, which is not great, because now we have um, five triangles up here in this area. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know what we can do other than sort of... Uh, service them all with this one line like this yeah but the teal line hasn't been extraordinarily busy so far either it's mostly been there's been a lot of busyness on the orange line especially so i'd rather not try and take up some of these with the orange line right now now we do have a new circle out here which is in quite a bit of a remote location um what can we do i guess we can extend this line since this is, I think, the shortest line. That does give us one, two, three, four, five circles in a row, though. So five triangles in a row over here, five circles in a row over here. Not great. Not sure what else we can do right now, though. So we have the locomotive, and it's either a line or a bridge. Now, it might be good to get one more line and uh, just make another line. So I think I'm going to go with the line this time. We'll see how it goes. So, as far as a line goes, what can we do with a line? I mean, one idea that comes to mind is a second relief line, um, because there are a lot of special shapes that's, that sort of show up around here and don't get serviced in time.
by the purple line. So we might be able to build a second relief line sort of somewhere up like this. Um, of course, I won't be able to reach these two stations on the other side of the of the bay. Yeah, I'm just trying to think what would be a good layout here. And then this station as well is becoming a super busy transfer station, which is just, it's not, it's not going to be able to cope with all this amount of traffic. So that's also not great. Now let's sort of think about why it's becoming that busy. I guess it's um, the best transfer point for the orange line. Oh yeah, that's right. The orange line doesn't have any squares on it. So that's why all these squares end up here, as well as any special shapes that have to go to go to either the star or the wedge shape, they all end up here. So you can see there's a bunch of squares, uh, one star, one wedge, two wedge shapes, and I guess a triangle just made its way in here somehow. Uh, oh, and we did get a pentagon here too. I think that must have changed recently. I don't think it was there before. So it would be good if we can get a square on the orange line. I mean, there is a square right here. So I wonder if it would be possible to try and bring the orange line down to here somehow. What if we bring this down like this? Let's see. And we could route this through here so that the trains would already be stopping there so it wouldn't really cause too much of a slowdown. Now we, we could also route the circle in because right now they would be sort of slowing down here, which is not great. So let's just see how that sort of goes and then hopefully this situation won't be happening anymore. Um, although it would still drop off all the special shapes over here instead. Um, but really the biggest problem there is the squares. Um, and let's build a relief line here to get rid of these squares as well while we're at it. Yeah, look at all those squares. Oh, even more squares. Let's get rid of these squares. And these stations up here are getting quite busy as well. What do we have up here? A bunch of special ships here. Um, not too much here, I guess just a couple ordinary ships really. A couple special ships too. And over here, I guess some more ordinary shapes as well. Now maybe it would be a good idea to get a special relief line sort of somehow flowing through like this. Um, let's just sort of make something and see how it goes. What if we do this and then this? Is that going to be a good idea? Um, that does give us, let's see, it's some triangles, some circles and these two special shapes. No squares though, so maybe we would have to go through like this. Um, maybe like that? I don't know. Um, because this one isn't going to be that much of a special station anymore, so maybe we can even get rid of that. And I guess let's just go like this and sort of follow the yeah, um, the orange or yeah, the, the orange line like this a little bit. Um, it does have to go a little bit out of its way, but I guess let's see how that goes. Can we go like this? Oh, is there only three lines per route, I guess? So I can't go like this because there's three lines here and there's three lines here. So what if I just put them on the triangle? Get rid of those triangles while I can here. Where's my train? Okay, um, all these trains are arriving here right at the same time here. That's slightly concerning. Okay, it looks like it's okay now though. One more circle out here. This is a really turning into a bit of a disaster. That's six circles in a row. Um, and then these stations up here are still having a bit of a busy time. And this one is still busy. I see it didn't quite get the relief it needed. It's got a bunch of wedges. So maybe let's, okay, I guess we have to get rid of this line and then build a wedge relief line here. Hopefully this, there we go. That solved that problem for us. Looks like it's gonna be a lot of intricate play here where I have to micromanage all of these stations that are about to overflow. So that's not a good sign. It's usually a good indication that we're about to lose here. <laughs> so I'm a little bit nervous about that. Oh, and there's one more square here. Hmm. 
you know what though I guess that means we don't need this square anymore so maybe we can get this off of here and instead go here and then maybe this also doesn't need to go here anymore yeah because now this can also just dip in here and sort of go like that even this station isn't really needed anymore so maybe we can can we write okay I guess these are sort of in the way here mm, that's not great so that does mean that this is gonna be that does mean that these lines are gonna be crossing over here yeah because it does need to stop here but does it need to stop here maybe this is the way to go but then we have the crossover at this point instead maybe this is not needed as well we could just go from here to here that does give us one less access point on the orange line here but it does also make this route a little bit more direct yeah let's see how that goes i guess let's just give it a chance to sort of uh, see how that plays out these ones are becoming quite busy as well maybe we should stop at this station instead with with the salmon line since we already do stop at this one with the uh, with the purple line so maybe the salmon line can actually go actually then we might as well just go like this in this direction instead then we do have these three stations as well this one has a bunch of triangles um, hmm. I guess this trains heading this way so that might pick up some of those now this one has a bunch of squares and triangles as well so maybe we can just do this this one is quite busy but I guess this train is heading over this way okay so one problem that I just realized here with this layout is that the square on the purple line is after this interchange station um, and as a result um, any 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 of these shapes that get dropped off of this station are going to be competing with the squares um, which are also being dropped off of this station it looks like so that's might be a little problematic actually but this line maybe we should visit this square as well so that we can just service the square directly with this line as well there's no reason those have to wait until they come all the way around this way there's a couple more stations up here yeah so this is sort of why I wanted this salmon line to head out this way maybe we can get it to work somehow it lo doesn't look like it's gonna be it's gonna let us go this with this alignment so that's not fantastic I'm just curious what happens if I bring it out here oh, I guess it won't even let us connect them because it just can't build this part uh, I guess let's just leave it like that for now and see how it goes it's not gonna go well I can already tell you that much this one is full of triangles let's see if we can just do this I hope it's gonna get there in time there we go okay we did get there in time then we have a couple more busy stations around here um, I guess this train might be able to get this station in time although this yeah see this this pink line if you just take a step back and look at it it's got a bunch of triangles at these stations here and only one triangle out here to drop them off at then if we look at the orange line um, I guess we had we do have one triangle over here as, as a bit of a saving grace but it does only have one square um, then the teal line here I guess has been the least problematic it's got a good good uh, distribution of different shapes here so the problem that we have on this side is that we don't have any squares and we only have one triangle and this line doesn't get to use that triangle so maybe this pink line should should share this triangle how, how are we going to connect that the most logical spot is maybe like this use dragging this up like that there is also this circle maybe we can just service the circle as well and maybe this as well and then take this off of the sign the orange sign is having a lot of difficulty so maybe we can even take this off of this sign maybe you can just service all of these with this purple line uh, pink line sorry this station here is almost done so and this one also has a bunch of triangles so maybe we can just drop off the triangles like so 
There we go, this one as well, but I guess these trains are just arriving here right on time. Um, this one again, build up another shape. This time it's five unique shapes, which is a, not a good thing. So we could just, I guess, sort of go like this maybe and drop off all of those special shapes down here to be picked up by these relief lines. Um, as you can see how slow that train is heading through this crisscross of tracks here. So let's see, week 10, another locomotive. Now we can take the carriages or a bridge and I'm tempted to take the carriages. It doesn't look like we desperately need a bridge at this time, although some carriages would be great to have, so I'm gonna take the carriages. Now you, can, you can just watch how slowly this train, this train crosses over those tracks. See, that's really painful. There's definitely room for improvement here, but I'm not sure what we can do about it. Um, I'm sort of just busy firefighting all of these stations overflowing, so I don't even have time to think about that sort of stuff. So you can see this train is actually full of triangles already, almost full, so it's not going to be able to pick up a lot of these triangles. Although this train seems to be having a little more space, so maybe it can pick up some of those instead. And then we have a bunch more triangles here. So let's try and drop those off here, I guess. That should be a quick trip here for this train. Um, th and then see here, this train is completely full, so it's not going to be able to pick up any of these shapes. Um, it looks like it's full of pentagons. Actually, it's full of special shapes, so it's got pentagons, um, it's got a wedge shape, a star, a cross, and a diamond. Maybe we can send the purple line out this way um, to serve as that pentagon as well and take this off of here. I mean, we could send the pentagon up, I mean, the purple line up to stop this circle as well. Um, because the next circle is up here, so maybe that's going to be okay. Yeah, I almost feel like that might be more worth it to have an extra stop than to have them cross over. So maybe that's a good strategy. So maybe we can even just do the same thing here and put this, uh, put the put the salmon line stopping at this station as well. And then here, what can we do? I mean, we could make the salmon line stop here. Uh, I'm almost thinking what if it would be a good idea, like what if we take the salmon line off of the circle here and instead make it stop at this circle? Um, so let's try it. Let's just see how it goes. I did greatly reduce the length of this orange line that used to cover all of these shapes down here, if you remember. So now it's really a lot shorter. It doesn't have to go out here. So hopefully all of this orange line load is going to be sort of eased off in a little bit here. But that being said, there are all of these shapes that we have to get out of here. And then we have these two stations, which the, I mean, I see this, this station, the two pink trains have just passed through it. So this is going to be as light of a load as it's ever going to get. So that's really demonstrating my point here. So maybe we can pick those up with the relief train. And then we do have one more circle up here. So, sorry orange line, but it looks like you're going to have to service that station. A new circle out here, going to have to pick it up at the teal line, I guess. This one just has a bunch of triangles, that should be an easy fix. This one's busy with triangles again, even though we just had a relief train there. So maybe we can put one there with a carriage as well, to pick up all of them. Um, it is really handy having all of those extra trains, because that, as you can see, these two relief lines both have trains on them and they're both, and also this third one actually, all three of them have a train on them and all three of them are cancelled. So I'm effectively running three extra relief lines at the same time here um, over the short time span when they're all active. So that's useful. That being said, I did just run out of trains. So I guess I'm gonna have to wait till, I guess this one's just about done here uh, until I get one more train back. Then what do we have here? Um, maybe this purple train is gonna need an extra carriage. Um, and as for this one, it's just mostly, it's just a bunch of circles. So why did this not pick up the circles? That's weird. I guess maybe the orange train was picking them up. Yeah, looks like the orange train got them instead. Um, it does look like the purple train didn't solve this problem for us. So maybe we are going to have to go through like this ourselves. 
which is okay. It's not that much of a problem. So orange trains are solving those problems for me, but not this problem because this train's full. A couple more problems out this way. It looks like we may have added a bit much to the pink line here. Yeah, I mean, looking at it, there's like how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven circles in a row. That's never a good idea. Now, one thing I could do is I could flip this side of this line. So instead of coming around like this, um, sort of come up like this instead and come back around like that, sort of like a uh, an infinity shape, if that makes sense. Um, that might be able to distribute these circles a little bit more evenly. So and there's no purple trains sort of on this side right now so I won't be messing anything up if I just do that so maybe let me try that out maybe that's good let's see how that goes for now just drop off all of these triangles over here like so and that's gonna just barely get us the relief we need okay we have one more triangle out here so this is good it does give us another triangle out here. It would be fantastic to get a square down here, though, for example. Um, so that's okay for now. This one has a couple squares and a couple triangles. Yeah, see, we don't have any anything we can do with these squares right now, because what are we going to do about those? Oh, this can't even stop here. So maybe it's going to have to... Mm, not much I can do there if this can't stop at the triangle, because there's already three lines passing through that single triangle station just to show you how busy that is yeah maybe we can take this and move it here just move it a little bit further back on its route to pick up these extra squares and i guess the triangles and drop them off here this one as well a bunch of squares this one as well a bunch of squares this one has, has a bunch of triangles so we can just drop those triangles off that's something we could do this one this 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 corner of the map is becoming super busy i remember it used to be this this part of the map but now it's this part of the map probably because there's like 10 circles over here and there's nothing not really anything else so that's kind of sucks but i guess we have to do what we have to do now i'm not sure if this um salmon line is really doing a whole lot it might be worthwhile to bring that salmon line out here and build a sort of a relief line with the with the triangle, I guess. I mean, it's not fantastic. I mean, we could also loop in this cross here. Okay, new week, week 11, got a locomotive. I can take two carriages or a bridge. That's interesting. Um, actually, you know, I wish there was a way to look at the map that you had while you try and choose these because it might help to try and plan something out um, regarding what you might do with either of these. See, because a bridge might be useful if I can make the salmon line cross the water as well. Um, maybe the carriage is the way to go in this case, because I'd, I'd like to put some more carriages on a couple of these lines. Maybe even the pink line could use some more carriages. With that being said, this one's completely empty. Um, so maybe I can move this along to this point. Just advance it on the line. Yeah, so where is that salmon line? There it is. I'm just gonna have to come drop off those. Let's see, what does it have? One wedge shape, two pentagons. Oh, two wedge shapes and two pentagons. So I guess I can just, I can even get rid of this line right now, actually. There's not any point of heading all the way on, out this way. Instead, let's just do this a lot more direct. Then instead we can bring this salmon line out this way and maybe connect them like this, I don't know. Or maybe we can even connect like this. Hmm. And let's also keep an eye out for which lines need some more carriages. This line looks like it certainly needs some more carriages, but that being said, um, it might be not so true anymore now that we have this pink relief line out this way. Um, let's put another carriage on the pink line as well. Can I not do that? I guess I have to wait till it reaches the solid part of the tracks. New circle out this way, which is, I guess, good news for all of these triangles, but not super great news for the line in general, because we have to do this now. Maybe we can get rid of this here and put this like this instead, break up these uh, 
circles out here. Yeah, we have, look at these, all of these stations are overflowing. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stations overflowing. Looks like we might be getting to the end here. This one's not going to be serviced anytime soon. It's got a couple squares on it. This one looks like it's going to be the one that's going to cost us the game because it's, it's just these squares. I mean, what can we do about the squares? Not a whole lot, really. This train's completely empty. It's pretty interesting. Maybe this train can be moved here instead. Pick up all of these shapes. Looks like I'm going to pick those up for us. I hope so. This one, maybe we can just do that. Pull all of the triangles up this way. This one's kind of busy as well. This one's got some triangles and some squares. Maybe we can move those over like that. So this train didn't even pick up any of the squares. So who's going to pick up the squares? I guess the orange line is going to pick up the squares. Maybe let's put this extra train over here to pick up the squares for us on the orange line. Um, this one as well has some squares and triangles. Maybe we can bring this down like this. These stations over here, yeah, this pink line is definitely the center of attention now, even though I gave its trains three carriages. Or I guess one, one locomotive and two carriages. This one has a bunch of squares and some triangles. Uh, maybe we can do this. Um, this one is super busy. This one's just about on the verge of making us lose here, so maybe I'm gonna have to put an extra train here. Oh boy, come on, tell me that's gonna be enough. Oh, okay, I do have one more locomotive here. It's gonna need some triangles. Maybe we can head this way. This might be the point where we lose. Oh, there we go. We actually did manage to get that. Um, so there we go. Um, now, so I put one extra train on the orange line, and I put these two extra trains on the pink line, so I am going to have to move them back onto my relief lines. Um, this one's pretty close to making us lose. This one's just got a bunch of squares, though. So um, maybe we can move that from here. This one as well has a bunch of triangles. This one is one of our relief trains, but I guess it should really drop off at this. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot we can do here. This one might get fixed by this. Um, but as for this one, this one has a couple squares, a couple wedges. Um, I guess this train might get there in time. Although this one's already full of wedges, so maybe it's not going to be able to do much. Let's see, yeah, there's a bunch of stars and a bunch of wedges it just picked up all bound for this end of the purple line. So it's really super busy, it's not going to be able to pick up a whole lot. Now we can cancel this and then we can bring this out this way down to here. Where's our relief line? This is our relief train. Can I pick this up here? Yes. Move that over here. Um, let's see if we can get there in time. Maybe we can get there in time. It's going to, oh, it actually did. I can't believe I'm scraping by here. This is like seriously the most dodgy playthrough I've had here in a while. So this one is actually ha having a couple, I can't see what this first shape is. Maybe it's a wedge shape. Um, a couple triangles and a couple um, crosses, I guess. So maybe we can drop the triangles off here or uh, I guess I'm going to have to cancel this line. Drop the triangles off here. Um, this one, okay, and we do have a new triangle over here, so that's interesting. Maybe we can do this, do that. Um, hmm. What do we have at this station here? We have um, two, three triangles and three squares. So maybe we can head out like this, stop here and stop there. But we are going to need an extra train. Um, okay, I guess we have two locomotives here, so that's going to be okay. And then we have a bunch of crosses here. You can see this train is just full of crosses. So maybe we can just move this 
relief train out this way. Then these stations out here, looks like this site is becoming a little busy. Okay, and I didn't see we had a new square over here actually, so maybe let's bring, bring this down like that. And then we have this station with a couple squares and a couple of crosses. Um, squares are all down here. So I guess we're going to have to come out this way. I guess we're going to have to stop here maybe. Or why don't we actually stop at this station since it does have a bunch of squares as well. So let's hope this relief train gets here in time. There we go, it did. And we have these ones which are getting quite busy. Let's cancel this line. This one is quite busy, has a bunch of squares. Um, connected like that. This one as well. A couple of squares and triangles there. Maybe we should to the triangles. Um, where's this relief train that I just had here? I guess it's still over here. Why is it not moving? Um, so let's get rid of this line. This one has a bunch of triangles. Let's drop them off here. Is that going to be enough? Oh, let's put the extra train on here too. Pick up that extra triangle. Oh, looks like this is going to be it, guys. This one's not going to be... No, I'm not going to be able to pick up all this stuff on this one. This one has a bunch of triangles. We can drop that off here too, but I don't think we have an extra line there. So, yeah, looks like that's going to be it there. So, let's see how many people. 2,365. That's actually pretty great. Um, if you guys remember, the first place um, the first place person had, I think, 3,500. So yeah, the first place was 3,500, and down to 10th place was actually 2,225. So on that scoreboard, uh, my score of 2,365 would actually have been 9th place. So that's not bad. I'm not complaining. 9th place in the world, that's pretty good. Nothing to complain about there. Um, so yeah, I guess that was the first game of Mini Metro. Let me know if you guys want to see another Mini Metro Let's Play. It's been fun, and I'll see you guys next time.